how did my summer job compare to other summer jobs? Uh, the summer before I did this, I worked in Payne Weber, a brokerage house, and that was extremely boring and not that much responsibility was in my hands. So doing the University of Painters was a whole different ball game because I had a lot to do, a lot of responsibility, and I learned a lot and made a lot better money and had fun. <laughs> What do I like best about running my own business? I'd have to say just being able to do what I want when I want. Um, I get to schedule my time. If I want to go on vacation, I can plan around it. I don't have to uh, talk to a manager every single day or my boss. and So I pretty much have control and am able to do what I want. So that's the best part. What manager blew the most of their money and what did they spend it on? Uh, one of the managers actually bought a fairly new Honda Prelude uh, for I don't know, maybe $18,000 and I think that was the biggest thing that somebody bought with all their money. And what else? Um, a lot of engagement rings being bought with uh, big ones too. I've seen several of them <laughs> with the money that they made at University Painters. I think I'd tell my best friend if he was considering running a business with University Painters I think that the most important thing would be that you want to do. I mean, you have to be committed. I mean, you can't go in this being like, all right, this looks like a great opportunity. I'm going to make a lot of money. You need to, you know, you need to look at your business plan. You need to hit those goals of, you know, 10 estimates a week um, and certain sales by each week. Uh, sticking to a plan and being committed is probably the most important thing. With new managers, I'm able to take them out on buddy estimates with me. Um, like bringing new guys along to show them how the business works. Um, give them as much advice as I can. I'm always open to, to questions on how I do things. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to be able to help new guys out and teach them some of the ropes. Um, my subcontractors this summer were excellent. Um, I used probably, I went through probably about eight crews. Um, I think I had about three crews that worked for me for the entire summer. Um, I had some subcontractors that did that were excellent and maybe spraying and they did that and then I had some that were excellent in interior and they did that. So you really kind of have to get a feel of what your subcontractors like and what they're best at and then kind of put them there. Um, what was my worst summer experience? I definitely have to say that was a paint job with the Wellses and they're just absolutely psychotic and you find customers like that sometimes but it's another learning experience how to deal with that. And... Subcontractor system is great. Um, what that system does is really allows you to run a painting business, but allows you personally to go out and sell and really bring in a lot of business. Another great thing about the subcontractor system is that they're very good professional painters. They can go out and do an excellent customer service job for your customers, excellent quality painting and you're able to go out and again continue your sales. Lifelong lesson I learned running the business is, um, is no one's going to be looking out for you. Uh, you got to schedule things on your own. Uh, you know, no one's going to come knock on your door and say, hey, it's time to get up, go to work. Uh, in this type of business, you're your own boss, so you have to you know, schedule your own stuff and be there on time. And probably being punctual with things, that's uh, pretty important. And that's something that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life. Was there anybody who was a huge failure? I know that there were some people who didn't make as much money as they could have, but I think that everybody had the opportunity to, and I think the people who failed the most were the people who realized that they didn't do all that they could have done, who didn't meet their potential. <clears throat> Another great thing about working with University Painters is they're able to steer you towards um, accountants and financial planners that are really able to help you maximize um, your profit from the money you earn of your business. Um, why did I first get involved with University Painters? Uh, let's see, um, I remember one day being in the dorms and uh, there's a flyer just outside my room and it said uh, opportunity for an internship and it said uh, earning somewhere between $8,000 and $16,000 and uh, yeah, my eyes lit up after that. So uh, after that point, I was like, "All right, sign me up." So I think that was the first thing that really attracted to me. Well, um, I didn't want to go out and brag about all the money I made, so I didn't. But of course, I told like my closest friends, and 
they were shocked and so they ran and told all their friends so eventually all my friends knew and in some ways you know they were really proud of me and made me feel really good about you know all the hard work that I put into this summer making all that money um, but then also you know a lot of the times it's like puts a lot of stress on me <laughs> because I always had to pay for everything sometimes but or they want me to pay for things and um, but they they just kid around because um, I have so much money but I think a lot of them are just like really proud of me for making so much money and for being as well I just finished my sophomore year so um, going before going into my junior year making um, after taxes and expenses almost 20,000 um, is amazing and my dad's probably gonna make me pay for my college education this year <laughs> how did the training sessions prepare me for the business well, I didn't know exactly what to expect going into the training sessions, but I mean, that's where you learn everything. That's where you learn how the business works. And by the end of it, you know, I was really confident and really excited to get going and knew how to estimate a house and hire some subs. The top manager was definitely Greg Landis. Um, called in every single night at five o'clock on the dot. Got, you know, his. 50 leads for that day and never heard from any of his customers um, in terms of complaining. He handled everything himself. The key to a high success ratio with your business is really be knowledgeable. Know your paint systems, learn as much as you can at the training, and really be in informative. Um, be able to answer customers' questions. Also, being very personable, um, building trust with that customer is going to help you land a lot of jobs this year. What did my parents think about running the business? Uh, they were cautious. You know, I was I was pretty much ready to jump into doing it, and they weren't. You know, it's sales, so it can be a hit or miss type thing. But I think once uh, I read over the contract after the second interview we, with my parents, and we discussed it, and at that point we decided that you know this was a good opportunity for me, and I was ready to work hard. I think that was the most important thing. If I was committed to doing it, and I was, and that turned out to be you know it turned out to be a good thing. Um, some advice that I would have for a first year manager would probably um, just really work hard on your schedule, your timing, um, set a certain day each week or a couple days each week for estimates, um, work well with your painters and at first make sure that your painters are well. I was really lucky and had excellent painters but I think the reason why was because I watched over them at first and got rid of any bad ones. And then once you find your painters, you know, you develop good relationships with them and it makes the whole producing aspect of um, university painters so much easier. And I think that's one of the things that can be the most stressful for a lot of people. The advice I'd have for someone who didn't run a, a painting business in college and just getting started now um, would really to be attend the training sessions and learn as much as you can there. They're very informative sessions that can teach you everything you need to know about the business. Um, ask a lot of questions and it's a learning curve. You'll learn a lot of the information there and from there it's just going out working hard and getting the job done.